hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope every one of you is doing really well so this is the video that most of you have been waiting for i can't believe that i'm even going to upload this it's really hard for me because it's a really touchy subject because not everyone agrees with cosmetic surgery if you are one of those people that doesn't agree with surgeries then this is not the video for you i would recommend you to just go ahead and exit this video do not watch it so finally my surgery vlog i actually don't even know where to start i don't even know what to say if you guys are not sure what i had done i had very subtle liposuction so i had liposuction on my belly love handles and the back i didn't get a bbl i did not get my butt done nothing of that i just wanted the fat around my belly to be gone forever and the reason why i decided to do this i wish i could tell you guys how insecure i was how unhappy i was how depressed i was how I didn't like my body it was nothing of that I was a really confident person I was ha I was happy with my body I was happy the way I looked I know I did not need the surgery but I just wanted to get it done so if you guys have been following me for a while you will know that probably like two to three years ago I lost so much weight I was so skinny I was a size six I had abs but when I lost weight I lost my legs I lost my bum I just lost the lower part of my body even though I was happy with how my belly was looking I wasn't happy how my legs were looking so I decided to put the weight back on I put on weight and I was looking more chubby but I was happy yes I didn't like how my belly was looking because I had extra fat and I knew that if I wanted to lose that weight I had to go gym do loads of cardio follow a really strict diet and I didn't want to do that because I did do it when I lost weight but I lost my legs and to be honest guys I love food I love food so much that I can't diet and I know me getting surgery done doesn't mean that the fat is gonna go forever and that I can eat whatever I like I know that I still need to watch out what I eat but it's a lot easier for me to just maintain my weight and be happy with my legs so that's the reason why I decided to go ahead and get liposuction I don't know if you guys have seen the before and after picture but the difference wasn't that bad like for me it wasn't a major surgery because I wasn't big I wasn't obese I wasn't fat it was just extra fat that I wanted to get rid of and I did it and honestly guys I'm so happy and I did think about doing this not for a very very long time I was just overthinking about what people might say and then one day I decided you know what I'm just gonna do it like if it makes me happy then why not and that's how I see things in life if it makes you happy then do it like you shouldn't care what other people think but, and I'm not here to tell you guys to go ahead have surgery I'm not promoting surgery not at all and surgery is a serious thing it's not like going to the hairdresser and cutting your hair if you are thinking about getting surgery done think about it properly think about it why you want it done is it to impress someone is it to look like someone else if it's for those reasons then you shouldn't be getting in any surgery and make sure you go to the right people make sure you do your research i decided to go with maya medical i don't know if you guys follow them i'm going to link the instagram somewhere down here for you guys to check them out if you want to but i've been following them for probably a year and a half and i've been seeing all the work that they do 
and I was just so impressed I was like wow like they are honestly really good they are honestly such a nice people like the coordinator from here from London was so nice she booked everything for me she made sure everything was sorted in Turkey for me to just go and have my surgery without any problems and that's how it was when I got there I met the coordinator I think her name is Demit Demit I don't know if I'm pronouncing that wrong she was such a lovely woman honestly my mom came with me and she loved her so much like such a lovely humble down-to-earth person she met me at the hotel when I got there she explained everything even on the day of the surgery, she was there for me. She picked me out from the hotel. She took me to the clinic. She helped me out with signing the paperwork. She was there just before I went into surgery. She made sure I was okay. She made sure that my mom was okay. After my surgery, she came to see me. She made the whole experience so much easier for me she even went to the supermarket with my mom to help her out with some food shopping the doctor was really nice as well i saw him twice if you guys see the before and after like i'm so amazed and even though i don't look like that yet because i'm only two weeks post-surgery i know i'm gonna be so happy with the results i'm already seeing the results so guys if you guys are watching i just want to say thank you so much for everything that you guys have done for me and my mom my mom loves you guys she doesn't stop talking about you guys to everyone some people were asking about the prices what i had done vasal liposuction the whole package is three thousand pounds it includes the surgery the hotel the night at the hospital, your garment, your medicine, your transfer. If you guys want more information about it, then I would recommend you to just go ahead and message them. They're really nice people. They'll reply to you with loads of information. And a lot of people were asking about, was it painful? How was it? I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. For me, it wasn't painful at all. I was in pain literally the day after of the surgery because everything was new to me if i had to do it again i would do it again but i have really high pain tolerance i'm so good with pain so i know that my experience might not be the same experience for some of you guys before i let you watch the vlog i just want to say before you comment anything just think about twice what you're going to say. This is so hard for me to even put out there for everyone to see, for everyone to judge me. Because you guys are going to see me literally without makeup, swollen, at my lowest, like just going through some real stuff. I'm a human being. I've got feelings too, so just, just think about what you're going to comment. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys do enjoyed this vlog i hope it is helpful for some of you guys that might be thinking of getting surgery i've tried my best to vlog every little thing so um but yeah guys i'm just gonna go ahead and let you watch the vlog Hey guys, me and my mom have just arrived in Istanbul, Turkey. 
the journey was so long it was like four hours flight but we had to get our bags and everything and it was just so long the room is actually really nice um i'm gonna give you guys a little tour in a minute but it's just very very cute tomorrow is my surgery the coordinator is going to pick me up at six o'clock in the morning which is quite early but i don't really mind yeah but she said that there's two of us so the doctor is going to decide who goes first and hopefully i can go first i think today we're just going to eat and relax because i know like tomorrow is going to be a really long day i'm really excited and quite nervous but i know i'm gonna be all right i'm happy to be here with my mom she's gonna take care of me Hey guys, so I didn't really film what we did but basically me and my mum went out to eat. <sighs> we ate fish and we literally just came back and it's not even late, it's like what 8 o'clock here like in Turkey so in London it's like, so it's 3 hours behind so it's at five o'clock so it's not even late and i'm literally so so tired i could just fall asleep i don't know what else to say like <laughs> this is all new for me like i don't really vlog that much i'm excited for tomorrow it's just mad that it's even happening like <laughs> the way i decided to do this it was just within weeks one day i thought let me do it and then the week after I booked it. So this is my bedroom for the night. This is the room, the room, the toilet. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm in my room and the second patient to get the surgery done the girl is going to go first because she's having mommy makeover so she's going to be there for like five hours they just took some blood from here they're going to do some blood test oh my god i look so ugly but yeah i just need to wait now i don't want to wait basically the doctor came 
and he did all the marking on my belly and he said that I have a lot of fat on the sides of my body. Este es sopa. Este es un puré. Espera. La sopa está rica, yo la comí. <coughs> Abra eso también. Se te va a pegar y puedo hacer feo. Este es un puré. Uf, lo de abajo. Es como que me está cortando. A lo mejor es el tamal puesto. A ver. So this is the food and it looks disgusting. Uh. No está fea. Parece fea, pero no está. It's rica, si tiene carne, mira, me echa. It's okay, tiene. it's not bad. I know I look crazy, <coughs> but I came out of surgery around 5.30. It's currently 9.20, so it's been what? It's been four hours. I didn't really want to vlog as soon as I woke up because <coughs> I wasn't really feeling too well. The first feeling that I had when I woke up was like, I'm so cold, like I'm freezing. <clears throat> also, I felt so much pain around my belly, but now the pain is gone. I'm fine, like I'm actually fine. Um, the only thing that is hurting me a little bit is the, is the tubes that they pull in the little holes that is draining all the blood. So that's the only thing that is hurting me right now. But apart from that, it's fine. I had food and I'm gonna go and have a walk later on and see how I actually feel because right now I'm not moving so I don't really know if I'm going to feel pain if that makes any sense. I did went for a walk and I was fine. I didn't feel dizzy, I didn't feel like I was going to faint. I know a lot of people like when they get up they start feeling sick. And also they showed me the before and after pictures and I don't know if you guys have seen it already but I'm gonna show you guys I am so happy so happy with my results bear in mind I didn't even get BBL like I didn't get my butt done like I don't like big butts it's just not me I've got a cute little one anyway so it's, I didn't want it any bigger, but now it looks like I've got a massive bum. But that's because the doctor snatched my waist. Maybe I'm going to insert the before and after pictures. So I'm staying over tonight and I'm going back to the hotel tomorrow afternoon. And guys, I'm really, really happy with everything so far. Like the doctor was excellent. The coordinator, the girl that is making sure I'm okay. I think she's so lovely. She's always coming to check on me, always texting, texting me. Um, yeah, she made me feel really, really comfortable and not scared. Also, the nurses here are really nice. They always come in to see if I'm alright. And the clinic is nice as well. It's really nice. I think it's private. It should be private, but it's it's really nice. Everything is so well planned. I can't even put my arm up but it's I'm all ready to go back to the hotel. This is happening at the moment, my last um painkiller and this shit hurts. I'm gonna try and sit down because it's so hard for me to even sit down right now. I'm so sorry. I know I look so ill, I look yellow, I don't have any colour on my face, I look swollen, I look fat. Day one post-surgery, I literally just got back to the hotel. This morning was a really bad day, not a day, it was a really bad morning. You know how yesterday I was saying that I felt fine, I didn't feel pain, I was surprised that I, I was being so strong. So that must have been because of the anesthesia. The anesthesia was still in my body so I didn't really feel that much pain. 
I only slept for like two hours because it was honestly so uncomfortable to sleep. I literally had to lay down on my back and not move one bit. Like I could not move at all. So I couldn't sleep. I fell asleep by like three o'clock in the morning. The nurse kept coming in to inject um, painkillers. And that kind of made me really sleepy, the painkillers. So I slept for like two hours. And I woke up at six and then I had breakfast. This morning, like, I was about to cry. I had tears in my eyes because I couldn't move. I was like, I just want to get up. And I couldn't because my back is so sore. Like, I couldn't get myself up to sit down and eat. And I was just so angry because in my head I was thinking, why the hell did I do this? Why? Like, why did I put myself through this? And I, I was about to cry and I was like, bitch relax you're a strong woman you can do this like you put yourself through this so you need to hack it and you need to be strong it feels so uncomfortable like i i don't know how to even explain the way i feel right now because i've got the fat here yeah? and that's so tight on my sore body so i can't really move my back and my belly that much and i and i'm walking like this so like my whole neck is just hurting so much and right now um i've got i think i'm gonna insert the clip yes yeah, so i've got two drains stuck in the holes that they did just below my belly bone and there's like a lot of blood coming out there's a lot of liquid and i need to have this for until saturday when i go to see the doctor so i can't have a shower until Sunday, four days. Oh! Espérate, espérate. Esto es la Está muy abajo. Espérate. Te voy a poner la otra ahí en tu cabeza. No estoy bien así. Y esto es ahí. Hey guys, es day two post surgery. Es the afternoon. I couldn't really film when I got up because I didn't feel like filming anything. I don't know if you can see, but look how fat I look. But I am swollen, like, even my hands are swollen. My feet are like, oh my God, let me show you. They're not that bad right now, but oh my God, this morning, it was so bad. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a lot of blood there. I know this is not nice to see, but I'm just showing you how it really is this shit is so hard and i'm gonna tell you why <clears throat> it's not really painful i don't really feel pain i just feel like my whole belly my back is so so sore that i can't move i'm so grateful that my mom has come with me because like you can't do this by yourself like she's been cleaning me and um, when I go toilet, like, she hasn't cleaned me since I was a little girl. And, and now she's cleaning me again. Which is like, oh my god, it's embarrassing. But then again, only my mum would do that for me. I haven't had a shower in three days. It's disgusting. My faha is with blood, like dry blood. It's just so disgusting. It's so nasty. But this is what you have to go through. I love how my waist is looking like just bear in mind that i'm still really really swollen look how m small my waist looks and it looks like i've got hips now because he removed a lot of fat around the side of my body he said i had a lot of fat like on the sides so he removed that and now i have the illusion that i have a waist 
I mean hips yeah like from this side it looks really really swollen I don't know if you can see this bit he has put a lot of pad for the leaking so that's why this bit looks big because I have a lot of pads in there tomorrow I'm gonna go and see him and he's finally going to remove the drain hey guys his what is it today day three post surgery and it's currently like probably seven o'clock in the morning 6 30 I woke up at 3 30 in the morning because I was in so much pain that my back was killing me. I had to stand up and walk for a minute and then I went to the toilet and then my mum um washed my feet with cold water. I've been sitting on this sofa since four o'clock in the morning because I don't wanna lay down on the bed because as soon as I lay down I won't be able to um get back up and I need to be up and ready by nine o'clock because i'm gonna go and see the doctor today i haven't even changed my top because honestly i don't feel like doing anything couldn't really film at the doctor's appointment because the whole appointment was so quick that i completely forgot and it was the most weirdest feeling ever when he took the drains. I don't know if you guys have ever had surgery and your skin is really, really numb and sensitive. When you touch it, it feels so, so weird. But now I'm back at the hotel and let me just show you how my... You can't really see anything because it looks black. But I don't have the drains anymore which it makes everything so much easier when I have to move I don't know if you guys can see but that's one bruise and that's the other one I'm so happy that tomorrow I can have a shower and change my fat hat because this is killing me it's just cutting me it's hurting me and the other faha goes all the way up here. I'm happy that I've got a tiny waist now. But I know that's going to go even even smaller in like six weeks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> guys here so I can speak to you so 
the flight wasn't that bad sorry i keep just like stopping when i speak but the the fire is so tight that i need to like catch up on my breath so that's the reason why i'm like <laughs> i'm going to put um the fire that the doctor gave me to wash my mom did wash it yesterday but it was at the hotel with like shampoo so now we're actually going to put it in the washing machine the faha that the lady that would that is going to do the massages doesn't fit me i had a waist strainer that i used to use when i used to go gym so i'm going to use this at the moment until um my faha is all like washed and cleaned but guys i'm going to show you how i look right now i can't breathe i cannot breathe like, i'm so hungry and this faha is so tight that it's giving me anxiety. I've got the waist strainer underneath. And then I've got this one that it's not that tight. As you can see, I'm swollen. Like, I don't even have a bum. Like, my back and my bum is warm. It's connected. Look how... Oh my god, this is just mad. This is just mad. Yeah, guys, this is basically the end of the vlog of my surgery vlog because i got home now i just can't wait until six weeks goes past because i know that's when i'm gonna see my results and i know like once all the swelling goes down i'm gonna look so good but yeah guys i hope you guys did enjoy my journey also guys follow me on all my social media especially on instagram because I'm going to be posting my two weeks, three weeks, six weeks. I don't know how many weeks I'm going to do but um, post-surgery. You guys can also just message me. I've been replying to all my messages. I don't reply to the ones that are very, very rude and blunt. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the clip in a few seconds. So, I hope you guys did enjoy that vlog. I'm currently filming my whole recovery process i've been filming week two i'm gonna be filming until week six and i'm just showing you how my body is looking so make sure you watch out for that video in probably like four weeks time where i'm gonna be explaining a lot more about the recovery because the recovery is so important having the surgery done is one thing but taking care of yourself is literally another thing and it's honestly so important for you to get the results that you want so watch out for that video so yeah guys thank you so much for watching that video make sure you give it a like if you did enjoy it bye